Hi guys, this is a quick tutorial how to add any um, photo texture to any object. Uh, it's a bit different from other people, so hopefully this helps. Anyway, let's get to it. So we want to remove everything here. I'm going to push N to get up this. I'm going to put my shortcut so you can see the keys, what I'm pushing. Now we're going to go to Shift A and go to Mesh. We want a cylinder, so we've got a cylinder go bottom it says add then we'll go versity so I'm going to do 60 versities now if I go up to item it says dimensions you can easily push s and scale but this way is more like dead on so if I want 10 mil high uh, and then we're going to do 4 mil and another 4 mil so so perfect so so I right click and it says drop it. That's a add-on that you can get for free. It just helps pretty much. Look at there. Now what we want to do is while we're here, go to textures, go to new, and it says open. Now go to where wherever your texture is. Mine is this um, rose. So now what we want to do, we want to hit tab, go into edit mode. Now once we're in edit mode, we want to go to UV editing. So once we're here, we as you see all the versities go up there. So what we want to do, we want to put CTRL and R and make another lot of versities. So bottom, loop and cuts. I'll do another 60 to make it even. So there's 60. Now I want to go to faces. This will make much more sense so if I go to shift E and move it right do the same with the bottom until it goes like a pinky kind of color and then we're done so if we hit a right so what we want to do is go back to vertex it's tab and then we want to hold alt click the very top one let go of everything I'm just scrolling now and then as we get to the bottom, before I click it, I want to hold Alt, Shift, and then click the bottom. So it's top, bottom. Now I hit CTRL and I to invert. This will make much more sense in a minute. So as I go here on the right hand side, I want to go to this thing next to new, and it says rows. Oh. So drag and get there, push G, go down to the middle, S and Y and then just scale it up until you get the picture you want this is now done so what I want to do I want to go across to vertex groups and that is in data so I'll go to vertex group add go to here and I'll put this because it's going to stand for displacement and I'm going to hit assign click it and it's done now what I want to do is go back to modeling go to object as we're here we want to go to add modifier so we're going to go subdivision first then we want a displacement second and then the third one we want decimate third now I'm going to show you how to get a picture on here first we'll go to displacement click here to texture now you can't really see it but if we go to local to UV because that's where we put it at the moment there so we've got this cone on the top and horrible bottom and this is where the displacement in a second is going to come in handy so at the moment if you want it to pop it out you know so if I just go to 0 0.05 it kind of like goes inwards it better uh, engraves now we want it to pop out so if we want it to pop out we go to negative 0 0.05 and then it will pop out so it's up to you which way you want this now we'll leave this one for a second we're going to go back to subdivisions hit simple and where it says level sub level viewport we want to go to five don't go past number five because it will crash your computer big difference already now if we go back to displacement and we click vertex group as you can see up the top so if i hit this oh look at that it's fixed it the very top and the bottom is now smooth so we have this <sighs> right 
So what we do, we're going to go back to subdivision and we're going to click uh, real time off and then we're going to go to displacement real time off. If you do not turn these off when you activate and you do all three of these in one, it will crash your computer. So this is the best way around it. So at the moment, we're going to go to ratio and decimate. Ratio, we want 0 0.01, so that's 0.1. So it's, you know, a little bit like this. Now we want to undo that. So what we do, we go back to subdivision, and then we're going to apply it. So we're going to go back to displacement, and we're going to apply that. This is going to slow down. But yeah, look at this. Looks pretty much all right. Now, if we go to decimate, decimate is going to take a hell of a lot of load. So I'm going to prove to you. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to go to task manager, and I'm going to show you how much RAM this will use as soon as I click this button. So as soon as I click, wait a minute, did I turn it? Yeah, I did. Apply. Now, here we go. So at the moment, it's going, <coughs> not being too bad. But it's when you get to the ver um subdivision and then you put that on six it will spike like mad it will go to 100 percent and it will completely crash so at the moment it looks like it's crashed but it's not so you just got to bear with it and wait just unfortunately this is the most painted part that's a pain in the ass. However, I can make this even more clear in the picture. But pretty much the tutorial was over after this piece. But if you wait a second, I will tell you another little thing you can do to make improvements to the picture. But be very careful because it will crash if you go too far. So make sure you save this file once this part is done so you can play around and do what you got to do because at the moment it's still crashed you just got to wait it will go there we go right now I'm going to risk it because I'm not going to save this and redo but there we go so as you can see it's doing all right once you stick it into the 3d editor um, into something like bamboo studios or uh, whatever one you use, I use Bamboo Studios. You can clear up all of these by doing their uh, textures. But if you go back here and go back to, say, uh, subdivision, the computer's going to go really, really laggy because it's already. Here we go. Because it's already done it once once we try and do it again it's gonna kind of push the computer to its absolute limit there we go now as you can see it's gone a little bit better and that's on an extra subdivision so if we click this and put it at I dare do it but say number three there we go look at that it's a bit more clearer and in the same again you want to turn off real time do not leave it on because it will probably just completely throw you out and then you want to hit apply again I don't know how many times you can do this I don't know but I'm just showing you to see because I haven't really tested this part out as much so I thought you know you might as well just see from what I'm doing and see if you can make it better look at that actually worked so if we do it again I'm going to do it until I can really clear up this or it crashes if it crashes then oh well I'll be uploading this anyway so you'll get to see so we're going to go back to subdivision another time I think my computer's going to hate this 
and I've got a fairly powerful computer as it is. I'll show you. Come on. Sorry, this is a long video, but you know, it is what it is. I've only been doing this for less than a month, been learning 3D editing, learning Blender. I did buy some extra tools on Blender to make life a lot easier, like hard option, box cutter, and other things. But on here, I'm not using none of that. This is straight basic what you can get with free Blender. So this will, this, what I'm doing here doesn't cost anything. I've been looking around the internet trying to find videos like this, but it is very difficult. Oh, is it done? Yeah, that, that is crashing again. Look, I'm going to show you. See, now my memory and my RAM is at 98%. It is spiked. See, I'm running a Ryzen 9 5950X 16 core. And my memory... Oh, here we go. Right, as we go back here. It's quite good, but it is very, very laggy. I don't think I could do this. Yeah, look, it is just crashing. So pretty much, you could do it maybe twice, but don't go any further than this. Anyway, I'm going to end the video here because it's pointless me showing you any more of this. Unless you want to actually, you know what, we're just going to click number three again. Jesus Christ, we're going to really push this to the limit. Come on. Ooh. Spiking them 32 gigs. Yeah, look at that. It's crashed. Oh, well. But, I showed you. Anyway, any questions, just ask. Hopefully this helps you. Sorry the video is a bit long, but, you know... It's worth it in the end. Anyway, take care.